Hello, YouTube and LinkedIn community. My name is Sofia Marin. I'm a cybersecurity enthusiast and an incident responder at Microsoft. In today's demo, we're going to pick over the Red Team activities we've been doing. So we have used the token tactic manipulation to collect a Microsoft Graph. So we're going to go through the sign-in part of the demo back again so we can get back to the Microsoft Graph and continue. So we left off that using um, Evelnix, a malicious actor have gotten access to a cookie, right, on the signings for uh, Microsoft. So that cookie is valid as we saw for 14 days. So now if I go into Microsoft device logon, as you can see here, I still have my cookie editor and I have the cookie had stolen and I initiate the session, I'm going to sign in if I were to be the user. So right here, I just connected part of uh, very important parts once you use an MS graph. So you want to know the scope. Why is the scope so important? The scope is what tells me what I really have access to. Right, so if a malicious actor were to gain access, he wants to see how much power does Microsoft Graphs has. So in this case, we have a lot of power and we're gonna use it. So one second, I put that token on a secure string and that will allow me to sign. So okay, now I'm in the graph. How the Microsoft Graph works is that you have to import the different modules we're going to use. So in today's module, we're going to be using sending emails. Um, that's a user action module. We're also going to work um, with groups and roles. So we're going to import all of those here. So authentication, user actions, and mail are part of it. The next thing is that I want identity governance. And next one that I have here is directory management. Okay, so thinking I'm an adversary. Okay, I'm an adversary, and my three main goals are going to be first, be able to fish as many users as I want to in an automated way. So I want to be able to go ahead and enumerate those users and send that mail. Second is that I want to create a group that I can give roles to and add the users that I have fish. To that group. And third one, I want to gain persistency. How can I obtain the persistency? That persistence is going to be obtained by creating a service principle and giving permissions. All those directions can be taken from MS Graph. So we're going to start with creating the email. So for creating the email, I have put up a little a script that I'm going to open. One second. So here is the script. The script is very easy. It's a for each, basically. Um, here, the malicious actor can enter any filter. In this case, I'm using a filter for mail. I can do a, a group membership, anything I like. So once we collect this on the variable, we're going to use that variable and do a for each. So for each in that user, and we're going to be using only the list that we have filtered. This is just some little bit of HTML. Um, again, this is going to be a very easy phishing technique. Um, nothing crazy, just to demonstrate the capabilities that MG Graph has. So here we're going to go ahead and put the email address, the recipient. We're going to create a custom um, name for its object name for the email and some of the body of that email. Then um, it will go ahead and create a draft mail that you're going to then send out. So you, anytime you're going to email from MG Graph, you have to create first a draft that you have a message ID that then you can send. And then you will get here the part of who you send in that welcoming email. Now we're going to go into the office session for that user. So again, because I have the cookie already into the browser, I go into office.com, come to Outlook, and once in Outlook, I want to go ahead and look at the send items. Okay. This is to validate how that is structured that I've given you uh, look like. So here we are. Okay. It's going to take a second. 
and this is how it's going to be looking basically uh, any name that you wanted to give it and it's going to be generated the time that we are working now and if you could see here and you look in the bottom of the screen well there you go you have the phishing link that you can then use okay so this is of course uh, malicious actor can make it a lot prettier and a lot more convincible right um this is just to test the capabilities of the tool um you can do all sort of things of attaching i will put on the description different links so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content so now that we have the first objective aligned, right, that was sending emails, is now we want to create a group. And we also want to give permissions to that group. So I've also created another script for this that I am going to show. So I have it just here. Okay, okay so as we just saw, we were able to collect the first part of the objective that basically was to send mass email. Now, the second part is that as an actor, I want to create this persistency and provide roles to attempt to gain access. So think that in those groups, everybody was able to go down the fishing. So the actor has all these credentials. So the actor wants to add privileges to the accounts that he has in order to spread his persistence across and his access across the tenant so the next thing that he's going to be doing is he's going to create a security group that we're going to assign permissions to so again with um mg graft he can go ahead and run this command this a little short script basically makes a group that you just create assignable for roles and one of the details of mg graft is that in order to make a group assignable for roles it cannot be a mail enable group okay you can create a mail enable group as well but you will not be able to assign roles. okay once here we're gonna go and run it so go to the last line and that should have given us an id so the next thing we're gonna go ahead to is the next part so the next part is gonna be uh, defining the role so the role is going to be what I'm actually adding to. So basically, this is the variable. It says that I want the role building administrator. Boom. And the next thing is using that same variable of a group, right? So the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and use the group we just created, right? The Alba's army and provide the roles we want to. So we're going to export this to a variable, right? And once that goes, we are going to create the definition, okay? So over here, we're saying to assign the role, the role definition, we call it, and to the group, okay? So right here, we're going to just confirm So this should be the principal ID for Albus Army. So I can do dollar sign group ID. And you can see here the principal. Of course, uh, this is for the actor to confirm. We're going to see in this module as well how you could investigate all of this. So the second objective created. We have given a, a permission to the group of users that we were able to fish. Now, the third objective is to be able to go ahead and provide access to an application. So as I previously explained, a service principle could be anything you authenticate. Everything is a service principle. Within that, the service principle category, you can prevent um, different permissions for a user to authenticate. Basically, it's a placeholder. A service principle works for me, so I can go ahead and authenticate. Um, right now, the service principal, the, the intention of the malicious actor is have this service principal that he can control, that he can own, because he already has multiple accounts that he has access on the tenant. So in case the SOC 
of the company finds out and removes that access, the service principle is going to remain until they figure that part. So this gives them a little bit of a backdoor uh, sort of situation if we don't uh, be very crucial and accurate with our cybersecurity investigation. So let's get to that script. So here we are, we have the script and this is basically to demonstrate the capabilities of MG Graph, right? Um, again, if someone is a cloud administrator, has privilege to create applications, or if you're allowing your end users to do app registration, this is a part of the tax trade space, right? Um, again, the security pillars of explicit, being explicit, and that's super important if you have any of this type of permissions, right? Because it can get of the hold of the account. Right here, uh, this script is out of Microsoft template. Um, I just modified a couple of things. Um, what it's actually doing is collecting part of the domain information and it registering a web app. So once that web app is done, we use that um, web app to create a service principal name with that application ID in order to integrate with um, Azure Active Directory and be able to authenticate and creates the owner. So here we're gonna rerun that. And we're gonna wait that that creates on the back end. And it says that it's being created. Now, this is terrifying if you think about it. How could we avoid this? Okay, this is an easy question. First, the part of token production, right? Compliance. Then disabling sign in to Microsoft Graph tools for users who do not need it. So we're gonna hold here. I'm gonna access to my Azure portal and I'm gonna show what do we refer to that. So I just sign into my Azure portal and I want to show it here. So under enterprise applications, you will find both Microsoft Graph PowerShell, right? The command lead we have been using and also Graph Explorer. So for Microsoft Graph PowerShell, just go into properties and disable the sign in for users. Secondly, MF Graph, verify the permissions that MF Graph has and remove any unnecessary permissions as well under properties that enable signing yes or no and uh, where do they need or assigning a requirement. There's gonna be good ways to monitor. I also wanna showcase here, this is the web app. Uh, this is created with the script, as same as this one. And even though now we're in Azure portal, um, in the next video, we're gonna be featuring an, a script that I'm just gonna show here real quick. Um, this uh, script, we're going to edit it and we're going to use those web applications and we're going to provide permissions to them and granting uh, privileges under the user context. So please stay tuned, uh, like and subscribe for more cybersecurity content and see you in the next chapter of our Red Team series for Azure. Thank you. Bye-bye.